Hello everyone and welcome to Civic Platform. This is your host Zuhair Al Musri. So today I'm covering such a nice event uh, for uh, Sport Manitoba Game Day 2023. So more than 20 games today open for free for all kids and their parents to come and try it. So that will make their winter more easier here in Winnipeg. So if there is no activity outside, you can find something maybe you are interesting in inside. So let's find out how much interesting this event for the kids today and welcome for a new episode from Civic Platform. Hi Zahair, it's Evan Andrew here, the Director of Brand and Revenue with Sport Manitoba. I want to welcome Civic Platform to our facility here in downtown Winnipeg. Sport Manitoba is the amateur body uh, governing sport in our province and our mandate is really to provide access uh, to sport and recreation for athletes, coaches, officials and volunteers. So at Sport Manitoba, we host a number of events every year. Today we're here at our game day event, which is an opportunity for kids and their families to come and try out a new sport, hopefully find a new sport that they might love to participate in. We've got over 20 sports here today, so uh, instead of potentially registering for a sport and paying that registration fee and trying to find out if you like the sport, today you can come, try one of these sports, talk to the people that run the sport and get the information about how to register, how to participate going forward. So what we're hoping for today is that kids will come around, uh, they'll come into the building, they'll make their way around, visit each of the stations where these different sports are set up, uh, try them out, and then if they're interested, they can have a chance to talk to the people that actually run the sport. Those people will give them information about what days of the week do their sport participate, um, what does it cost to register, when is that registration period, and then they'll have that information to go home uh, and potentially follow up on. We know that in Winnipeg and Manitoba our, our winters can be cold and while we still encourage people to get out there and uh, participate in outdoor activities like skating or curling, um, there are opportunities obviously when it might be too cold that you want to stay inside. 
Um, so here, you know, we've got basketball, volleyball, badminton. There are no, numerous sports uh, that you can participate in indoor uh, throughout the winter. One of our key uh, messages for families with kids is physical literacy. So just like we aren't born, um, you know, knowing how to read or write, we don't know how to jump or run or hop. And so those are the key physical literacy skills that we want people to, to develop at a really young age and that will make them fit and healthy for their entire life. In Manitoba we are very multicultural and sport we want to be as inclusive as possible. So um, for new families, new Canadians um, or families that are new to a specific sport we really encourage you to come today uh, check out all the things that we have to offer and then have that good conversation with either someone at Sport Manitoba or the individual sport itself. Um, talk to the pe people and ask questions about when, do this, when does registration start? What days of the week does practice or competition uh, happen on? And how do you really get involved? Um, asking those key questions to the sport will give you that opportunity to start participating and developing your skills in that new sport. And also making new connections, making new friends, uh, and developing those social skills as well. So Zahair, let's go around and check out what we've got to offer today. So behind me, you can see that we've got a fencing coach helping uh, potential athletes understand what fencing is all about. So today, we're really just introducing a sport, teaching some basic skills, and trying to share some information about how they might get involved in the future. So one of the really neat things about this event today is that there are sports that people may not typically be exposed to. So in Canada, a lot of us play hockey or soccer or basketball. But an opportunity to try fencing is something that not everybody has every day. So it's really neat to see the kids get a chance to get some initial instruction, um, to have that opportunity to put on the equipment, to see what it feels like, and to get a little bit of an idea of some of the moves that you need to, to participate in fencing. So here we've got rowing. And again, there's an opportunity to get some initial instruction from our uh, our athletes here who are rowing athletes that competed at the Canada Games last summer. So pretty neat for young kids. First time to try rowing to get that, uh, that 
that instruction and the technique from an actual athlete who's competing at a very high level. Over here we've got bowling and as you can see we're not in a bowling alley we're in a big big gymnasium but another way to show you how sport can be adapted to a different environment. So kids here are trying 10 pin bowling uh, they're getting again instruction on how you want to throw the ball how you want to approach the lane before you're going to throw uh, and it's just a really neat opportunity to try another sport without having to go and pay for it. So this station is Rhythmic Gymnastics and as you can see we've got a couple of young students here trying it perhaps for the first time. Uh, again, a really accessible sport requires very minimal um, equipment and very minimal space to get started. Hey, I'm Adam Rudlick. I'm here with Basketball Manitoba here at Sport Manitoba Game Day. Having a ball, having a great time with a lot of new people getting involved with sport here in Winnipeg and Manitoba. Uh, so a lot of fun, a lot of noise, a lot of happy, excited kids going around uh, enjoying some basketball. It's great to see all the other sports here that are with us today as well. Well, it's all about fun. Today's all about fun and then just get the kid uh, a little experience with basketball, get him some uh, excitement, show him some of the programs that we have offering here in Winnipeg and around Manitoba to get them involved. This is just a little taste of what they can experience, but today's all about fun. Well, it's a, uh, sport is a huge part of getting people coming together, doing positive things together, staying active, staying fit, meeting new people, uh, socializing with, uh, with others. So uh, it's a great chance for us to uh, experience something we enjoy together. And it doesn't matter if it's basketball or any other sport, it's a super fun day and uh, sport, getting involved with sport in our community is uh, wonderful for everybody. Sport is a great avenue for getting people active and involved off the couch, on the courts, on the fields, on the ice. Uh, it's a great way to stay in a positive, healthy environment and to keep active in school. A lot of, a lot of basketball, a lot of school sports are, uh, are starting uh, back now after the pandemic. And it's a great way to keep your kids active, healthy, off the couch and uh, in a great surrounding with other people in the community. Hi, my name is Paul Estevez. I'm the head coach for Racial Manitoba, and here we're at the Sport Manitoba Game Day, and here we're teaching kids how to pitch, and of course we're tracking their speed through the radar gun today. It's really neat to see the amount of growth and development we get for kids when it's their first time trying to pitch off a mound, and we kind of give them a few pointers and help them out, and we see a lot of growth and development, which is really encouraging, and we see their confidence grow right away when they're getting to be really good at a new sport. Baseball is a great game for kids because it teaches them how to fail, because it's essentially a game of failure. So through every single failure they have in the sport, they learn how to get better and become a better person and also a better athlete. So baseball is really unique because it is the most individual team sport that exists because you are really separated in your performances as a pitcher or hitter, but it still remains a team sport. So you still get all the benefits of the team environment, but also the advantages to play an individual sport when you play baseball. Uh, my name is Katie Schoenborn. I'm an instructor with Ringette Manitoba. So today we are teaching the kids gym ringette. So normally ringette is done on ice, but today we're in the gym, so it's a little bit different. We've been teaching them passing and shooting tactics and just explaining the sport of ringette. So ringette is played normally on ice, and the difference between ringette and hockey is um, that we have to pass over the blue line, so there's a lot of team um, interactions in that way you have to use your teammates to get down the ice. The other thing is that there's only allowed three people in the zone so you have to really use um, your teammates to get down the ice and get in that zone and you're not allowed in the goal tending crease. So just a few differences that way so a lot of our sport is very much team based you have to use your teammates. Um, well I think that ringette is very interesting when they see the ring and the stick it's new nobody really really knows unless you've seen other people play it it's new to a lot of people so people are interested in trying it out um, when we when people try it out they are usually hooked they really like it so we've had a lot of interest and we have a lot of uh, programs throughout the pro throughout the province from ages like three open like up until seniors, so there's a lot of uh, opportunities for people to play.
My name is Justine. Um, I am a member of the Manitoba Rowing Association High Performance Group and today Manitoba Rowing is here to take part in the Multisport Day. It's super important for us to be here because we want everyone to know that rowing does in fact exist. Uh, we produce a lot of high quality athletes and we really just have a lot of fun. It's a beautiful sport which you get to participate outside as well as work on your fitness. Rowing has a huge, long, successful history, especially within the Olympics. Manitoba actually sends a ton of rowers to the Olympics, so it's super important that we get to share that with the community and show everyone just how special and successful that rowing is for Canada. So rowing is also incredible because it's a for life sport. Um, one of our oldest members is about 90 and we also have members as young as about 12, 13. So it really is a great sport to experience across lifetimes and to share it with other generations. We also have a lot of athletes that join rowing for cross training as it is a really good sport to help with overall fitness and endurance and strength. So we welcome everyone from all backgrounds and all sport experiences. Uh, I'm Carson Lambos from the Winnipeg Ice and I'm just here uh, for the Sport Manitoba Day. So it's, uh, it's awesome. It's you know pretty cool to get to see all these kids around uh, trying a bunch of different sports and hopefully somebody can uh, find a sport that they like and something that they can really do. Um, I know hockey's been that for me. So I hope that uh, these kids here can have something similar with whatever sport it is. Uh, hockey's a good thing to try out. I think uh, come to one game and watching it, you'll really like it. It has um, a lot of speed. It's physical. Uh, there's a lot of little bit of skill too. So I think it has a bit of everything, and that's what I really like about hockey. And uh, hopefully, you know, some like you said, new Canadians can like the same things that I do about it. Yeah, I think to have a good, strong team and group of uh, group of guys. It's really important to make everybody feel comfortable and welcome being themselves. I think on our team we try to uh, let everybody be themselves and don't pass judgment up for who people are. Uh, so that's kind of what we've built in our team and uh, that's the most important thing in leading a team. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's cool to be here today. I'm happy that uh, Winnipeg Ice were part of this. It's a lot of fun to see a bunch of different sports and meet some new, new fans and some kids. So it's, yeah, it's awesome. Hi, my name is Shauna Joint. I'm the Vice President for the Manitoba Deaf Sports Association. Uh, the reason I became the Vice President is because I wanted to help deaf and hard of hearing athletes to have the opportunity that they can play the sports, what they want to play. We support athletes from, from young ages all the way up to adult seniors. We have different programs, different sports organizations that we help athletes to participate with their leagues in hearing. Um, the athletes' skills grow really well, like homogeneously, and they want to become into the international level. That's where Canadian Deaf Sports Association comes in, and they so sponsor your, your child, your athlete, to become, and they go travel around the world to, in the Deaf Olympics, Pan Ams, Worlds, it's a great opportunity. We want to help deaf and hard hearing athletes to be able to achieve their dreams. We hit a lot of barriers and it's interpreting. We need interpreters for each sport event for the athletes to communicate with their coaches and their teammates. That's our biggest barrier. Uh, also, we are having some struggles trying to get more youth athletes included. A lot of people are not aware of our organization, so we're trying to spread and let everybody know we are here. I encourage all parents to, to contact me, and I'm happy to explain everything what we can do to help your child to get involved. And we work with interpreters. Um, we know that a lot of parents are not are struggling, and they want to make sure that their child has the same as any other athlete. Totally agree with that and that's what we're here for. And I just want to be clear, our organization, we don't have a specific league. We have our athletes participating in the hearing leagues, but the deaf are together as a team. That's our goals for this. We, MDSA, 
want to see you athletes to come. We're here to support you all the way. Thank you. So again, in my background here, you're going to see multiple sports. You've got volleyball over to the side. You've got basketball back behind. Right behind me here is a station by Fit Kids Healthy Kids, uh, which is a physical literacy program run by Sport Manitoba. It offers free programming, so any early childhood educators out there that are interested in getting their kids active uh, can reach out to Sport Manitoba and we can come with our Fit Kids Healthy Kids crew and perform uh, some games on site or even train your educators on how to, per how to have their own games in the future. Well, thanks so much for coming to check out our game day events, Zahair. For anyone out there that didn't have an opportunity to, to visit us today, we do this annually, so it'll happen again next January. Potentially, we might be able to have one in the summer. We're working on that, so stay tuned. Um, but just want you to know that physical literacy, being active in sport and recreation, is such a fundamental part of our lives. Uh, we encourage you to get active, to get to get fit, to get to participate in sport uh, and recreation, uh, and to come visit us in the future, either in our building for game day. Uh, we also have summer camp in the, in the summer, obviously, that will, registration will be opening really soon. So come down to Sport Manitoba here in downtown Winnipeg. We'd love to see you. We reach the end of our episode. Thank you for watching. If you find this kind of events interesting uh, for you and your family, so don't hesitate. Go out and find out uh, how this event will help you and your family to be more subtle and confident here in Winnipeg. So here you can have fun and joy and sport so your kids will be more healthier and uh, subtle in, in Winnipeg. And they also can find a new friends as well. So again, thank you for watching. If you like this episode, please like, share and subscribe and wait for a new episode from Civic Platform.